In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can assign a page to a custom template in WordPress. So, so far, we created two pages over here. So, you can see that you can check the tutorial down below on how to create pages automatically from your plugin. You can see that we set the naming of them and so on. So, now we're going to be assigning these pages to a custom template. So far, you can see that they are connected to our theme. This is not what you want. We want our, our uh, custom template so that we can control everything. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to jump into my code over here and I'm going to start on the index page. I'm going to start with the comment over here and assign pages to custom templates. Okay, so the first one is going to be a function. So let's create a function. Let's call it template. Let's open that and let's go down. So the first one is going to be, we need to check if we are on that page or not. So if is page page like this one which page we need to put specify the name of that page which is in our case uh, the first one products I'm gonna just copy this name okay so basically over here you can put the name of any page that you want in my case I would like to proceed with products so you can go over here and choose any page that you want I'm starting with this one okay so if is page meaning if we are in this page do the following which is to return our file but before returning that file let's create it so over here, I would like to create a new folder. So right click, new folder, and let's call it templates. Okay, and inside the templates, let's create a new file. Okay, new file and control S to save and let's call it products. Well, let's start with template, template dash products point PHP. Okay, excellent. So let's hit save. And inside this one, let's uh, make something. This is our products page. Hooray! Basically, if you see this, we succeeded in assigning this template to our page. Okay, so let's go over here. And now we need to return this folder, this file. Okay, so return. Let's open that. So the first one's gonna be uh, actually not not this. So basically, return plugin dear dear path. So this is the first step. Uh, let's include the file of uh, our uh, plugin which is this one this folder over here so point and let's open the quotation marks like this and we need to uh, bring templates so templates slash and inside the slash i'm going to be putting the name of this template which is template dash uh, products point php okay so let's close that with a semicolon and i think yes we're set but also over here we need to add the return template because we're going to be using a filter hook not an action hook so return template let's close that and also i'd like to take this template over here and put it in the first parameter of our function like this okay so over here we need to uh, execute this function so i'm going to be uh, add filter hook filter filter and inside it the first one's going to be template includes this is a uh, a WordPress command templates oops template include and for the second parameter of course it's always the name of our function so copy it paste it over here and put it inside the quotation marks like this and let's close this one with a semicolon I think we're all set so we, we set the function over here template this this variable over here is really essential so if we're checking if is page products if we are on this page do the following which is to return this file all right so let's hit save and let's go back over here and let's do refresh and let's view our products page excellent so now we're seeing it this is our product page array also we can do something we can go over here and we can start playing with this one we can include uh some html we're gonna be doing this next but i just want to show you for example the title over here we can uh, change the title over here so let's call it products page or all products all products so let's hit save and let's see it over here as you can see it's working so our html is working also over here let's do something for the body let's uh, for example uh, start with an h1 head so h1 line and let's call it this is our products page okay i'm gonna just delete it from the top over here save and let's do refresh excellent so everything is working also what i'd like to do is to check the css so i'd like to include some css 
okay so let's do it from here so first we need to include the script so style all right and over here so let's uh, start with something but before that let's add a class over here to address it in the css so class let's make it uh center okay so let's center this one we're just checking if uh, the css is working or not so over here let's point center let's open that and over here let's uh, make text align center okay now let's check also let's add the color so color uh, let's make it white smoke or let's make something obvious uh, yeah I like this color 1e 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 save and let's do refresh and let's check excellent so now everything is working just fine this is our final result okay so so far we learned how to create a page and how to assign a simple a custom template to it so in the comment tutorial we're going to be finishing we're going to be completing our work over here so thanks a lot for watching if you have any questions about this process let me know and i hope to see you in the comment tutorial take care